All right, the upgrade's live, so let's check out what's going on with Stronger and Strong. Uh, so before I start this video, I'm thinking about lumping both the Stronger and the Strong videos into one. Uh, if you'd prefer separate videos, let me know. If you prefer this format where I cover both Stronger and Strong, uh, let me know, and I'll basically do what the general consensus wants. So starting off with Strong, let's quickly focus on this because I really only have like one or two things to say about this. I've basically been saying this since $272. If you've been watching me for the past 40 days, if you started watching me a week ago when we were in this bear flag, you know that I've been talking about, you know, this price target down here at $70. When we were at $270, I was predicting $70. This was basically a 75% drop. And you know, the strong community, they were laughing at me, they were throwing rocks through my window. And they were basically saying, you know, I'm wrong and I'm fudding and strong is going to do nothing but go up in a straight line. Uh, obviously, that's not what we've done. I looked at this objectively. I've been saying this every video, the chart looks like dog shit. And, you know, some people kind of accepted the analysis. Some people didn't like it. But nonetheless, we've come right down. We've come and hit $70. And, you know, I was really only looking at this objectively. You know, there was there's no point in this chart where this even looks remotely bullish. I mean, the chart still looks terrible. So... Where we kind of were covering this yesterday, I highlighted how we've got the worst selling volume that we've ever had on Strong. Uh, today, it's not even halfway through the day. If you're in the US, for me, it's just past halfway through the day. And we've got the worst, we've got the second worst selling volume uh, ever seen on Strong. So it is possible that this selling volume could start to eclipse what we've got yesterday. If it does, I think Strong would probably break below $70. Uh, but nonetheless, this is your make it or break it region. $70, I've been talking about this for the longest time. This is the macro low down here. This is the point of control. This is the point of interest. We've got major confluence uh, with a macro bearish pennant, a macro bull flag, and also, or not a macro bull flag. This, this is really like a short-term bull flag once we broke down from this macro... Uh, bullish pennant and also we've got a 2.618 here so in my opinion this is the point of control uh basically the point of control you know that if, if we don't close above the point of control if we keep on crashing below 70 dollars then i think we're over so the only way i see stronger surviving or strong rather is we have a huge huge pump to the upside in the next day especially if we have a weekly close uh, below 70 then i would be basically be calling for strong to get rugged to somewhere near zero so that's all i see for strong once again the chart looks absolutely horrible we really need to start reversing at 70 dollars. if we don't then you know it's basically over so let's check out what's going on with stronger now and i kind of hypothesized that you know at least in the long term this chart would do something similar uh to strong where you know we kind of run the ponzi nomics back it gets released down here maybe a little bit of chop to start with and then it goes on a big big rally tops out and then as it's failing as it's going you know somewhere near zero they'll maybe try and save it they'll maybe bring out a new chain they'll you know run back the ponzi nomics and do something else nonetheless uh, obviously we can't see into the future but you know we, we don't know what's going to happen with uh with stronger and what they're going to do um, a few people hypothesize that the selling volume would move over to stronger and strong would be saved but as i can you know kind of tell from here the network upgrade was put you know about 12 hours ago and if we look on strong the selling volume has been increasing in the past 12 to 16 hours so you know it, it does not look good for strong in my opinion stronger as well it really doesn't look too good but i don't want to be too harsh on stronger uh when the u.s hasn't really woken up i think it's only like four five six a.m depending on what state you're in in the u.s uh, but nonetheless like in my opinion I, I think these regions need to hold uh for stronger like in, you know like i said I, I don't want to be too harsh on stronger when it's its first day coming out because this could just be a quick quick euphoric bottom uh before we do kind of start turning around so i'd keep my eyes on approximately uh, it's 84 dollars, but let's just um round it down to 80 uh, because as far as i can tell I, I think this is really only available in uniswap and you know new from what at least from what i can tell new tokens uh, a lot of the time on uniswap they have these huge huge pumps and liquidity grabs and they they really you know move like up and down up and down like like there's no tomorrow so uh keep your eyes on the uh the 2.618 fibonacci down here 
$83. I really don't think it's going to be looking good if we break below $83. And also, this is kind of like the bottoming region we found uh, before we did have a big impulse on Stronger. So, in my opinion, uh, 115 is the moon line. I would, I really don't think it's going to be healthy if we don't have a strong pump above 115. Uh, from what I can tell in my, you know, previous history of trading, normally when cryptos get added to an exchange and you know they fall off the table straight away, it's it's not normally a good sign. I mean, we've done nothing but fall down, and there's in, insane selling volume on this. Uh, we're really going to have to keep this uh, updated and see what's going on. We broke out of this descending triangle. Nonetheless, we've pretty much been thrown back right uh, right down to it. So we could be having a bounce. We could be exploding, you know, in the next coming hours or so. Uh, but I really wouldn't get, you know, even remotely bullish on this until it breaks 115. On the flip side, $84 needs to hold. Round it down to $80 because, you know, this... Um, you know, you know, like I said, new new things that get added on Uniswap, they do move pretty euphorically, uh, especially when they've got you know a relatively new uh, market cap or presence in the space. So keep your eyes on these levels. In my opinion, it's it's really not looking too good right now. But I don't want to be too harsh on Stronger as it is its first day out. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this. I'll keep you updated, and that's basically all I see for Strong and Stronger. So uh, once again, let me know if you like the format where I'm covering both Stronger and Strong, and kind of tying the analysis of both into a neat bow. I think that kind of makes sense because I mean these two projects are tied, and I think looking at both Stronger and Strong at the same time, uh, it's probably going to be easier to get a better perspective on the market, but. Not Nonetheless, uh, I want to know your opinion. I'll go with the general con general consensus. For example, if you don't give a shit about Strong anymore and you just want me to cover Stronger and you'd prefer if I recorded them separately uh, for the people who only want to see Strong and the people who only want to see Stronger, uh, let me know. I'll go with the general consensus. Nonetheless, that's all I see for Strong and Stronger. Best of luck if you're in any of them. Once again, none of this is financial advice. Just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Cowboy out. Peace.